Hello, Chem 161 students. Today, we're going to be doing the density experiment. Uh, basically, today, we're going to be determining the density of this Teflon ball right here. Um, and to determine that, we're going to uh, take some mass and the volume of the ball uh, and determine the density. Now, density's SI units typically is in kilograms per meters cubed. But for this experiment, we are going to determine it in grams per milliliters. So let's quickly go over the materials for this experiment. We have a weigh bolt, a Teflon ball, a graduated cylinder, a 25 mil graduated cylinder, pre-filled with water, um, and a balance. So let's be begin. And so uh, we have here a weighing bolt. It was pre-teared, but if you put this weighing bolt on here, you can press the tear button and it should zero out uh, the weighing bolt on the bal balance. So then it should go to zero after you tear it. Type that. Okay, so we'll just say it went to zero, okay? And so we put the Teflon ball on there and we weigh the mass of the Teflon ball. Uh, Now it looks like the mass of the Teflon ball is about 4.502. And so we'll write it in our lab manual, 4.502 grams is the mass of the Teflon ball. The diameter of the Teflon ball was already given. It's 5 eighths of an inch of an inch. Um, and then the uh, volume of water before we put in the ball. So we want to determine the volume of water in this before we put in the ball. So I'm going to adjust the camera really quick. Uh, so it's level with the graduated cylinder. Okay, so I put something black behind the graduated cylinder so we can see it a little better. As you can see, there's a volume uh, of water in here. And we want to measure the reading before we add the Teflon ball in. So. It seems like they mark every, for the larger ticks are every five mils. The medium ticks here look like they're every one mil and the ticks in between are half a mil. And so if we read this, remember when reading a graduated cylinder, you wanna read under the meniscus and the meniscus is that curve uh, at the top of the layer. You don't wanna read the middle or the top you want to read it at the bottom of the curve, right? And so if I was to read this, it looks like, I know it's a little hard to see, but it looks like it's just under 15.05 mils. So I'm going to just go ahead and guess that it's around 15.048 mils. So uh, 15. Point excuse me, not 15.048, 15.48, and then mils. And so in my manual, this is a measurement I have before I throw in the Teflon ball, right? So 15.48 mils. And so now I'm gonna add in the Teflon ball carefully. You don't wanna drop it because you don't wanna spill the water. And then we're gonna measure it after. So it looks like after, uh, the volume looks like it's about, 16, 17, uh, 17.48 mils. And so after I uh, put that in, you're, you now determine the volume of uh, a Teflon ball with water in the graduated cylinder. Um, and then you, what you wanna do next is determine uh, these values here. So the mass of your Teflon ball, I'm going to put mat. The mass of your Teflon ball is 4.502 grams is up there already. The volume displaced would be 17.48 minus 15.48. So that would be 2.00 mils. Thus our density would be uh, mass divided by volume, which would be 2.2 2 
0.205 grams per mil. So that is our density there. And then your TA can show you how to do uncertainty. Now your TA should give you a class data for this so that you can determine uh, the densities for your whole class and the uncertainty value. Um, yeah, so you can do the second part of the Excel part for this experiment. That is it for this experiment. Um, if you have any questions, please ask your TA. Thanks.